Mike Sealy. And I'm Dawn Baker. We are nearly a week from the Savannah's biggest celebration of the year. City Council met today to discuss rules and zoning for St. Patrick's Day celebrations. WTOC's Camille Syed joins us now from Broughton Street, where a portion of the parade will roll through. Camille, what will the celebration look like this year? Dawn, with St. Patrick's Day falling on a Friday, city officials tell me this is expected to be the biggest celebration in the past few years, meaning more people than last year on the streets of the hostess city watching that parade. Now with that comes a lot of rules to take in mind. We expect it to be a much more Vibrant. While you may want the best spot to see this, up close, Mayor Van Johnson says you can't set up or even be in squares until 6 a.m. on St. Patrick's Day. Also, no motor coaches are allowed. With that comes other regulations to keep in mind. Pack it in, pack it out. No tents, no pop-up bars, no styrofoam containers. Those are rules you may be used to if you've been here for celebrations before. A change from last year that will remain this year, there will be no festival zone with outdoor entertainment and alcohol sales, which means no wristbands are required. Special Events Director Susan Broker says that's because they want our local businesses to strike gold. So we decided that we would allow our businesses to put the entertainment and the alcohol sales as opposed to it being on the public right-of-way. So they wouldn't have to be in competition with that. So it was a really way to put Savannah First. Also back this year, the extended to go cup zone on your screen that goes as south as Victory Drive and Truman Parkway to the east. We wanted a locals to have a greater opportunity to participate and we didn't want them necessarily to have to come downtown in order to participate. Squares on the parade route will close at 4 p.m. for cleaning and reopen at 6 p.m. Participating in such a large celebration also comes with safety protocols. We do have command posts throughout the parade route. City leaders say there will be law enforcement set up at the locations on your screen. And if people are uh, coming here with the intentions on breaking the law, um, then their stay here will be a little longer than they intended. There is a new initiative to keep Savannah green and clean. About 60 city staffers will join police in squares in ongoing cleanup and monitor littering. You could face a $50 fine for your first littering offense and $150 for your third. It's a plan the St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee appreciates. We've spoken with the city about it and, you know, in the past expressed concerns around the squares and the parks, but the city uh, has done an uh, exceptional job making sure that our city stays clean and Aaron Gerbra. And city staff will go into more detail about their anti littering initiatives during a briefing tomorrow. We'll be there to bring you the latest. In the meantime, reporting live in downtown Savannah, Camille Syed, WTOC News.